Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Holmina's Plans and I am back with another memory spread. For this week, I will be planning out the week of December 12th through December 18th utilizing this stunning kit from Two Little Bees called Winter Mood. I have had this kit since I want to say the end of 2021. Um, I loved the florals in this and <laughs> unbeknownst to me, uh, last year's Bl uh, Black Friday haul, I had three kits that had these exact same florals and I had to make a decision because I know I had a Crafts by Towie kit with these florals, a Sadie stickers kit, and then this kit. And I was like, okay, if I'm not careful, I'm just going to use the same florals and the same clip art for like three weeks in a row. So I've held on to this kit and I finally decided to pull it in. And I'm so happy that I did because I also paired it with a journaling sheet from Saucy Stickers Co. If you saw my Black Friday haul for this year, or I'm sorry for it's, it's 2023 now. Happy New Year, by the way. <laughs> um, but my 2022 Black Friday haul, um, I showed, um, Saucy, this, uh, a bunch of journaling kits. And one of the kits I got was from Saucy Stickers Co. And it had this exact same clip art. And I am so happy that I paired that journaling kit with this spread because this is in the running for my like favorite spread that I've done this year. Like I am so happy with it. I love all of the different layering techniques. And I actually, it's funny because I made a, an Instagram story while I was planning with this kit. Um, so I did my Nikki plus three spread, the, you know, the, the blue one. Um, and then I sat down to try and film this spread, which <laughs> I still have my plan miss intro going because I, I want to, I, it's festive. And so I'm going to have that intro until, um, like for the next two videos, like this one. And then my Christmas spread, I'm going to use my plan miss intro. But anyways, um, I sat down to, uh, to film this after I got done with that Nikki plus three spread. And I was like, I am stumped. I don't know what to do um, because I I had in my head that I wanted to use the Saucy Stickers Co. journaling kit with it because I'm like, this is an older format of Two Little Bees. I don't have all of like the boxes that I'm spoiled with now. What am I going to do? And I, ha I, was, I kept looking at my Saucy Stickers Co. journaling kit that was going with it and I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. So I kept putting it off. And then when I finally sat down to film this, it just so happens that Tay uploaded a video, um, one of her planning 101 videos. I love that she does that because I am still constantly learning and in need of assistance when it comes to like awakening my creativity, I guess. And uh, I was going to attempt to do something that I'd never done. You know, I, I haven't used a journaling kit intertwined with my weekly kits. And she uploaded one of her Planner 101 videos, how to use a journaling kit in a weekly spread. And it came at like the most perfect time because literally when I sit down to plan, I go to YouTube, I find... Um, a bunch of videos that I haven't watched yet from my planner favorites and I create a playlist and I just let that play while I plan and Tay uploaded that video. I like the most perfect time. And so I literally was sitting there planning this spread. It, I, I almost felt like I was in school, like she was my teacher and like she was giving me a breakdown of how things worked out. And I loved it. I loved it so much. And because of that, because of like her tips and techniques, I am obsessed with how the spread turned out. So if you guys are ever stuck or need, you know, a little bit of help on layering or you're, you don't really know where to start, I highly recommend going and checking out some of Tay's Planner 101 videos because she, I just, I love her. I love her. Anyways, <laughs> um, I completely breezed over the base, but I did pull in some more alcohol ink swatches from Rose Colored Days. I pulled in the, um, several of the arches that came with the journaling kit up in the month section. I love it because it looks like a window out into like the wintry world. Um, I added some snowflakes. I used a ton of snowflakes in this spread. Like, oh my gosh, that's kind of like my thing for the, for the winter season. I want to pull in as many snowflakes 
and wintry feels as possible. Um, it's so funny because I showed my husband this spread and the little girl in the sidebar, she came with the uh, journaling kit from Saucy Stickers Co. <laughs> and I showed him my spread and he was like, she looks really cold. I'm like, good, that's the point. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. Starting off on Monday, I marked waking up early and okay, I marked waking up early the exact same way all week with these little mini boxes from Two Little Bees. And I realized something in this spread. I need Maria to come out with like a whole sheet of these little mini boxes. I love them so much. I use them. They're, I, I feel like they're perfect to mark um, just, just, a, just two little words. You can layer a bunch of things and I'm, I'm finding myself going into like older two little bees kits and pulling in some of these boxes because I'm, I'm loving utilizing the little boxes to mark getting up early. I don't, I don't know. It's just like, it's been a thing that I've been doing. It's something that I love. Um, I did like how I layered the snowflakes on the pillow to mark getting up early. Those pillow icons are from uh, White Deer Stationery. Uh, I pulled in the bow flourishes from Sadie Stickers, layered it with some florals from the kit. Um, on Monday, you can kind of see my, my hands covering it, but the layering that I did, that is a technique that actually um, I got from watching Tay's video. Um, she was layering a like a a washi sticker, um, a washi tape sticker. Um, but I had this little swatch and I loved layering the lace box. That's actually a leftover box from a Miss and Meow kit. And ugh, I just love it. That's just a, a little example of some of the layering that I did um, in this spread. Anyways, I'm already into Tuesday. So if you have any questions about anything on Monday, just leave it in the comments below. I want to talk about the layering that I'm doing right now on Tuesday. So this is another thing that... Um, as a technique that I got from, from Tay, uh, watching that video is just finding little like organic shapes, like torn paper or washi or things of that nature. And then layering it with the regular, you know, just squared off boxes, giving a little bit of texture and dimension to something that, you know, to break up like the boxiness of it all and then layering florals over it. And it's just like, I, I am so happy with, it's so simple, but it adds something so grand, I think. I don't know, that maybe that sounds a little bit silly, but I really love it. Um, anyways, um, I did that to Mark ordering my husband's gifts. I ordered, I kind of went all out for my, I, I do that every year. I love giving gifts. I love seeing people's faces open presents. Like <laughs> people ask me, like, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, I don't know, but I love getting things for people. So I kind of I kind of went all out for my husband this year and I ordered some of his gifts online on this day. Um, so to mark that, I pulled in that adorable Christmas presents icon from White Deer Stationery. Oh, okay. So right now I'm marking caroling and I am so obsessed. So on the Saucy Stickers Co. journaling sheet that I use, it had this um, sheet music like curved journaling piece there and when I first saw the kit I was like oh man that's so great where how am I going to use that and then um, I pulled in one of the little swatch boxes that came with the um, two little bees kit and I layered it over that because me my dad and my sister we had an event that we had to go to um, and we had to to perform and sing we were supposed to be carolers um, so when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So I grabbed the little icon from White Deer Stationery. It's an open book. And I layered it in a way to make it look like the music was coming out of the book. Um, I don't know. I, I really like it. I, I That's, some again, some of my favorite layering that I've done because it looks like the music's coming out of the, of the book. So fun. I love it. And it's just uh, the way that I marked caroling on that night. Um, okay, I taught my Zoom class and I just marked that with the little yoga mat icon from White Deer Stationery over some florals from the kit. And then I uploaded a plan with me. Okay, so jumping over to Wednesday, this was my niece's 12th birthday. Oh my gosh, she's my, she's my oldest niece and she is so sweet. Such a kind-hearted little girl. Oh, I can't call her a little girl anymore, like a young lady. That's what we'll say. And so I really wanted to mark that special. And again, on the Saucy Stickers Co. sheet, there was this like music sheet arch. And I knew I wanted to use that. But of course, I've, I've mentioned this before. I am not great at layering arches. 
but I really wanted to try. I really wanted to push myself in this spread. So I took that layered uh, music sheet arch and then I took a just a plain um, arch. I think that's actually from a leftover sticker book, but the colors match this spread. And I layered it with some florals and some snowflakes. And I love how it turned out. And it just kind of gave a good pizzazz and made it look like really special to mark my niece's birthday. Um, I marked that. I uploaded a plan with me and uh, I layered that. So in Two Little Bees, she has scalloped labels and I'm, I'm finding that I'm, I, I'm not drawn to those very much. I find that I'm not using those. So I took it and I cut it down and I made it almost kind of like a scalloped midi box. And I layered it with one of the swatches that came with the journaling kit. And I'm obsessed with how that turned out. Love it. Um, and I just marked uploading a plan with me on that day. Um, okay, I marked that I went Christmas shopping on this day. <laughs> I am like notorious. I do. I wait until like a week before Christmas to go Christmas shopping. I don't know why. It just, it's been who I've been for the past several years. But on this day, I went with my older sister and uh, apart from getting her gifts, because like I had to, I had to wait till she wasn't with me to get her gifts, but she literally helped me get gifts for everybody. She was like on it. She's like, okay, you need this for who? Got you. Come on, let's go over here. Like she had everything nailed down and I'm like I am never going Christmas shopping without you ever again <laughs> not to mention she's like one of my best friends and I love hanging out with her so I'm like hey look I'll go Christmas shopping with you anytime <laughs> um okay um I marked that I wrapped Christmas presents and I did that with just like a quarter box. I kept it pretty simple. Um, uh, I pulled in the Christmas present icon from like your stationery. And then to cap off Wednesday, I know we're on Thursday right now, but to cap off Wednesday, I marked that we watched Spirited, which is that um, it was an Apple TV original that has Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell in it. First of all, I love both of them so much. And it's a musical and it's amazing. And it's probably one of my favorite newer Christmas movies. I'm kind of a Christmas movie snob. I'm not going to lie. Like I have a rotation of Christmas movies and I'm like, those, these are the OGs. They're my babes. But this one, I watched it like twice within like just a few days of each other. And that's rare. Like for a new Christmas, like I watched the Christmas Chronicles last year. And I still don't know how I feel about that movie. Like, I love Kurt Russell, but I'm still, like, on the fence. I'm like, okay, I'll have to watch it a couple more times, you know, a few more years to let it settle in. But this one, oh, my gosh. It's so good. And the music in it, like, it seriously does have, like, a Broadway feel to it. If you guys didn't get a chance to watch Spirited, um, if you have Apple TV, I know it's on there. I'm waiting for it to, like, be released on, you know, because I don't have Apple TV. I watched it over at my sister's house. She did. Um, I'm waiting for it to be released because, oh, my gosh, it was so good. And the music in it is banging. It is so, it's, oh, my gosh, it's so good. I didn't know Ryan Reynolds could sing. Like, that man is beautiful and he can sing. Mm, Blake Lively. Ma'am, you are very lucky. <laughs> Okay, so on Thursday, I marked getting up early. I went to the gym. I edited a plan with me. I'm going through it really fast, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why I have this sped up so quickly. Whew. Slow it down, Jen. Slow it down. Um, I did laundry. I had a pretty chill day at home, and then I binged some YouTube. Um, okay, on Friday, I marked getting up early again the same way. Like I said, I did I, – I love marking it the same way with those little mini boxes from uh, – two little bees because I feel like it just gives you just enough space to mark up early and then you can layer it with florals and foiled bits and pieces and ugh. and I did pull in that bow flourish from Sadie stickers every day of the week I love it so much I try not to use it too too often because it is kind of busy but I feel like because this is a holiday spread and I like to go all out. I wanted to pull it in. Um, okay, I marked that I went Christmas shopping with my dad and we do this every year. My dad likes to go Christmas shopping with my mom and he'll either take me or my older sister, one of the siblings. And this year I went and it was so much fun. I love doing family shopping stuff like together. It's so much fun. Um, so yeah, I marked that and I did the same thing where I cut down a Two Little Bees scallop label and then I layered it with a swatch that came with the kit. Um, okay. I marked that we watched Spirited again. <laughs> and I love the way I marked this. I pulled in a piece of that torn paper that came with the Saucy Stickers Co. kit, layered it with one of the um, scalloped boxes that came with the Two Little Bees kit, pulled in some florals. And it seems so simple, but I love the way that it looked. Like, 
that, you know, you have the busyness from the torn paper because it has like, you know, writing on it. it looks like vintage, like torn paper. And then you have just like the plain box with the whited out center and then you add the florals to it. And it's just like, it makes sense. I love it so much. And then of course I pulled in the TV icon from Crafts by Towie. I marked that uh, after that I made some salmon for dinner for me and my hubby. And then we just had a YouTube binge together. That's just what we do. We binge, we binge YouTube together. It's generally like some sort of, you know, it's, it's funny because YouTube has like series on it nowadays. It's like, it's so crazy how YouTube is literally just what we watch on TV now. Like there's literal channels that have things that are like full episodes, like actual like story driven stuff. And <laughs> that's what me and my husband watch together. It's pretty funny. Okay. Um, on Saturday, okay, I'm marking that I had a really terrible night's sleep the night before this. Like, I don't know what it was. I just slept like absolute doo-doo the night before. So I'm marking that pretty much the same way as I've been marking like getting up early, except I used one of the, um, it's like the notch, uh, fancy box that came with the kit, layered it, you know, and, but I pulled in the same pillow from White Deer Stationery, Snowflake, I, um, foil deco pieces from Sadie Stick. Oh, I didn't tell you. All of the snowflake deco pieces, like the foil deco, is either from Sadie Stickers or Honey Inked. There is no deviation. That's the same, it's the same deco pieces that I've been using in all of my winter spreads. Um, it's and and this is how it's gonna be for the rest of my winter spreads as well. So it just is what it is. <laughs> um, I marked that I to to try and like, I don't know give myself some relief because I really did. I slept like crap the night before. Um, I marked that I just relaxed in the bath, had a nice relaxing bath. So to mark that, I pulled in another swatch, um, layered it with another box. Those are actually colored midi boxes from Sadie Stickers. And I went on to Sadie Stickers um, not too long ago to see if she still had those in her shop and she doesn't. And I'm a little bit concerned because I pull those in so much whenever I have kits that don't have boxes. Um, and I'm a little bit concerned because a lot of the kits that I have lined up for 2023 are older formatted kits. So I'm trying not to like stress myself out. Alicia, if you watch this, <laughs> where are your colored boxes, girl? I need them. <laughs> okay. I marked getting ready and I just uh, marked that by layering some florals with the icon from White Your Stationery. And then I'm marking Terror Fest. Okay. So this was a horror themed Christmas convention. And I know you guys are like, that sounds ridiculous. But for me, it is right up my alley. It mixes my two favorite things, horror and Christmas. And it was so freaking cool. It was done locally. And my husband's band was asked to play at this thing. And there were some really big names in the metal world, like the metal music world. I don't know if you guys are into metal music. That's the genre of music that my husband does. Um, but there were some really big names. Like there was the drummer from um, Black Sabbath and Dio, um, the bass player from, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name. My heavens, I'm blanking on the, uh, on the names of the stuff that he was in. But anyways, um, oh, Megadeth. <laughs> Sorry. He was the bass player for Megadeth. And then there was the drummer from the Ramones. And it was just like so cool. Like there were all these names there. And then there were some like big names in like the horror genre too. Like um, the movie Poltergeist, the, the little boy from the movie Poltergeist, he was there. And I actually got to talk to him and I showed him some of my special effects stuff. And it was so freaking cool. It was like so surreal. And it was just, it was really fun. So I had to mark that really special. And I layered some of the floor circle that came with the kit uh, with the scallop circle. Um, I marked that I edited a plan with me. Um, and then we went to Whataburger that night because when we go out, it's like we're always out late. And so I can't really come home and cook. So we went to Whataburger, which is, I love Whataburger. If you're a Texan, you know, you know. Okay. Um, on Sunday, I marked that we were up early. So to mark that, I pulled in, that's a foiled fancy box from Sadie Stickers layered it with some florals, pulled in another flourish. Um, I marked that we went to church and I just marked that with the florals from the kit, layered the little church icon from the, uh, from Crafts by Towie. 
Um, and then I marked that me and my husband had a meeting with our bishop, which is essentially just our pastor. Um, so to mark that, I pulled in a quarter box from the kit, layered it with some florals, and then I love that little notepad icon from White Deer Stationery. It's just so cute. I have like three sheets of it. I don't know why. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think, or I guess when I saw it, I was like, oh man, I love it. And I knew I was going to love it so much, but Anyways, okay, so I marked that me and my husband went back to Terror Fest. It was a two-day event. My husband and his band played on Saturday night, and me and my husband just went back on Sunday just so we could walk around and kind of see all of the things and whatnot and talk to more people because my husband picked up something. He picked up a gift for his lead guitar player um, in his band, but it wasn't going to be ready until the next day. So we had to go back and pick it up, but it also gave us a chance to like walk around and we visited more with like the rock stars who were there. It's like, you know, we just casually were hanging out with like legendary rock stars. No big deal. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, so I marked that the exact same way as I marked it the day before with some florals from the kit. The scallop circle is from two little bees. Um, I marked that I filmed another plan with me. This is obviously I was, I was trying really hard to finish up plan mess. Um, so I cut down another one of the scallop labels from the kit, layered it with some florals, a bunch of snowflake foil deco from Sadie stickers and honey inked. The icon is from cross by Towie. And then to cap off the night, me and my husband watched some of our favorite stuff to watch on YouTube. It's um, it's actually this, it's actually a gaming channel. It's really fun. <laughs> my my taste of what I watch on YouTube is so broad. Like it's so crazy. I go from like special effects makeup. I go to like gaming. I go to planner stuff. It's like all over the place. But the gaming stuff I watch with my husband, there's like this one channel that we enjoy watching together and that's kind of how we decompress for the evening. So I'm just marking that with some florals that I layered at the um, bottom of the column. The TV icon is from White Deer Stationery. And then of course I popped a snowflake in the center, which that's a trick that I got from Lauren of Plan Moche Plan. Um, these are the leftovers that I had from the kit. I have a ton left over, so I'm really excited to pull those into my journal and potentially my um, functional planner. I'm trying to keep my functional planner more minimal this year, but um, those are the leftovers along with the Viv Wiggle. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jen, I do planner things. I hope you guys are staying safe and well and you're having a wonderful new year, however you're spending it. Thank you guys once again for watching and hopefully I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.